welcome back to the channel so today I wanted to uh, just kind of give you a tour of the truck and how everything's kind of set up um, I just pulled into the Big Meadow Lake campground um, there will be a separate video on that um, but I wanted to give kind of an update to the truck build you know things have been tweaked a little bit here and there over the past year um, so I figured it was probably due to you know kind of give an update and that way people can see kind of how things are set up you know maybe if there's somebody out there looking to maybe do a similar setup hopefully this might help you uh, so we'll jump into it all right so starting on the outside there's really nothing much to the outside we just got two 100 watt Renogy uh, solar panels mounted right up on the roof um, and mounted into the factory uh, Yakima rack rails that come on the topper. And then up in the front here, obviously this is just the driver's compartment. Um, not a whole lot gets put there because I've got to be able to sit and drive. But right behind the driver's seat, we have the bathroom, the gym bag, got the regular clothing bag with all my week's worth of clothing in it. The laundry bag, which contains all the dirties. And then back behind the tote here, we have laundry soap. We have a bag that contains uh, basic essentials, toilet paper, paper towels, trash bags, replenishment hygiene products. There's a stick of deodorant in there. We got the laundry soap, um, another bag, and that's a jacket, lightweight jacket. Um, down under there is going to be where the drone is stored in its own bag, as well as all of its accessories. And then into the rear passenger side, we have the refrigerator. Um, you can see all the wires that I've got running between the back of the truck here all the way up to the front come through the slide windows I don't have any holes drilled into anything on the truck yet and I just use pipe insulation to basically bridge the air gap um, to help keep dust and whatnot from coming up into the cab when we're driving down dirt roads and stuff um, back here this is a three gallon jug of water this is the the shower house slash toilet house that you've seen set up in several videos to this point tucked in between that and the refrigerator is the actual foldable toilet itself under the jacket here we've got the craftsman tool set um, haven't had to really pull it out and use it for anything yet but I do have it and keep it around just in case um, and this door over here we keep the excess um, shampoo and body wash. I just use the use a small bottle for inside the gym bag when I'm actually going in. Extra vinegar. Um, I pretty much don't use that for anything other than sanitizing. And up towards the front seat, we have in the door I keep stored. Um, this one's got dish soap. This one's got the vinegar sanitation rinse. This is the remote sensor for the weather station that's in the back of the truck. So basically once I'm parked up for the weekend, I can just kind of set this out somewhere and I'll know from the inside of the truck precisely what the temperature is outside of the truck. The front seat is more or less just kind of, I guess, junk storage, more or less. Um, plasticware bowls for you know if I want to have cereal in the morning this is basically how the truck is more or less set up when I'm not camped out somewhere so let's just keep that in mind um, while we're going through the tour um, got work stuff here um, I also will typically keep a bag of chips and a loaf of bread up here so I can make sandwiches on my lunch break and have a snack so now to the back of the truck to the back of the truck up here we have our primary solar generator which is the bigger one up towards the front and then the backup solar generator which sits to the side right beside it 
Um, I have that computer laptop stand, um, which I actually don't use as a laptop stand. I will pretty much keep my Kindle sitting up on there for when I want to watch TV. Um, I keep stuff downloaded onto the Kindle that I can watch when I'm parked and just laying out back here. Um, sleeping bag, pillow up towards the front. Um, if you're ever curious how I go to the bathroom at night, there it is. It's just nothing more than a bottle to pee into and that I empty out every day in the morning before I drive off. Um, laptop bag so I can keep entertained on the internet when I want to. And then what I keep tucked under the bed area, um, this is basically the under bed storage, right? So I got two of these kind of, you know, they're pretty thin totes, but they're big enough to keep everything I need. So I've got basically all my kitchen accessories and stuff here, the stove, um, various uh, cooking stuff, the jet boil, tongs, extra butane fuel. These are really nice to have around for you know, doing the weekend camping trips and they're, you know, you're in a spot kind of like this where there's not an actual shower shower available. You can pretty much break out those and at least get a basic wipe down and clean. Up under on, on this side, this is the new teepee cooktop. That's the great for it. Just keeping it covered in plastic bags so it doesn't get everything else all mucked. This is the table. This is the chair. We have the hatchet some extra isobutane fuel underneath all of that is the side the basically the lightweight tarp that we will set up for the side awning when we want um, in here we have extra stuff for you know hammer We've got thermocell in there which I will be pulling out and firing up here shortly because there are mosquitoes in there already and then all the extra stakes and ropes and stuff like that for just tying down various things here and there. The bed itself is just four inch, uh, four inch memory foam mattress. It started out as a six foot mattress, uh, but it was a trifold mattress. So I basically took out the pieces that I didn't need to get it to fit into a five foot bed. As you can see, it pretty much comes right to the end. So it fits this platform almost absolutely perfect. The platform is being held up. You can see those are uh, two by six boards um, that basically run from each side of the bed to the other side of the bed. Um, the Tacoma beds, uh, at least the five foot bed, has notches that actually fit these almost perfectly. So it really made building a platform rather easily. And then other than that, it's just, uh, it's just three quarter inch particle board. Um, I would have probably rather have gone with a plywood, something a little bit more lighter weight, but the cost of uh, lumber and wood when I was doing this build was uh, at a premium. I'm sure it probably still is to some degree. Um, so we went with the three quarter inch particle board and it's just simply covered in um, outdoor carpet. So as you can see, it's a very, very basic build. Um, I pretty much have everything I need to function on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, everything, everything I need to be able to keep myself fed and entertained when I'm out in the wilds. Um, and that's really about it. I mean, it's, it's really just kind of a no frills thing. So I certainly hope you enjoyed this tour of the truck. And if you like what you've seen, um, sure hope you will give the video a thumbs up um, give it a like um, subscribe all that good stuff that helps the channel grow thank you for tuning in